GameStop way up this morning. The rest of the market averages on the downside. Here is David Barnson as we get ready to open this market. Right. At the end of the day, David, do you think it's the little guy who gets hurt here? Well, I do, Stuart, but I, I think that the little guy will deserve to be hurt. And so what I mean by that, which sounds terribly unsympathetic, is that the little guy will be a victim of his own actions, not a victim of anybody else's actions. There is a, a desire right now to make free money, and I completely understand it. Who wouldn't like free money? But because free money doesn't exist, some people are going to have to find that out the hard way. And I think that all of the things that took place with the shorts and the excessive euphoria by, by going short more than the amount of shares that existed, which set up this big squeeze that allowed a lot of people on the other side to go squeeze them and make all the money they've made, and then little guys coming into it just believing there's free money to be made, these are, are lessons that are disconnected from reality. And people have to find out sometimes by actually touching the stove that you can get burned. You know, there's going to be political, the politicians are going to get involved into this. There are going to be hearings in Congress and there are going to be calls to regulate short selling. I think the politicians are zeroing on on that. What, should we regulate short selling at all? We, we already do regulate it. There's margin limits. There, there's, there's all kinds of regulation. But listen, I want to go back to the financial crisis. You remember September of 2008. At the time, I was a managing director at Morgan Stanley. And all those financial stocks were being shorted like crazy. And there were absolutely hedge funds taking advantage of the situation, spreading bad news, shorting the stocks, trying to make money. So then they, they figured in their infinite wisdom as politicians, let's go ban short selling on financials. What happened then? The financials really tanked because people couldn't put a hedge on. They started shorting the debt. They started going to Europe to do different things. You can't regulate this. Financial markets have to be allowed to work. And sometimes things go too far one way and too far the other. But further regulation on short selling denies market transparency. It makes price discovery harder to do. It doesn't work. And it's totally un-American. I've got 30 seconds for you. Can you tell me if this short squeeze or whatever you want to call it, is that going to bleed out to the rest of the market? Are we going to have contagion? No, we're not. Uh, we're going to have little spurts of irrationality and some trade anomalies. But this event in and of itself is not systemic. There's plenty of very expensive things out in the stock market. What's happening here with these is isolated to these events. It's a big newsworthy event, but it's certainly not an economically contagious event. All right. David Barnson, thanks for joining us on a very important day. As always, we'll see you again soon.